doing okay. This is old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to talk about something that's in the news today a lot, which happens to do with surveillance and, yes, your privacy. Well, it seems you don't have any privacy whatsoever under the names of national security anymore. See, and you thought it was just all those AP reporters that were getting hit and congressmen and all those people. Well, even the White House has secret emails that they didn't know about and didn't turn over when it came to, oh, wait, court orders. Yeah, and uh, it looks like the President of the United States is going to go after with a vengeance anyone that is leaking information about the things that he doesn't want known. Uh, but we know that those leaks have to be coming from the White House because of the topic of conversation. Well, it's, she's, you know, okay, right? here, here's the thing about... Uh, when they say he's a popular president, here's the thing about polling, because I studied polling when I was in college and it really hasn't changed a lot. They have a tendency to go to areas that they know are going to support the answer they give. So if they say he's got a 50% a popularity rating, it's because they went to two, probably two-thirds more Democrats to support him than they do Republicans. So his, his ratings are going to be kept up artificially. And, this, and the ratings are skewed based on what type of outcome they would like. Yeah, they always make certain they get the answers they want. Mm -hmm. So it shows that... Uh, the president's popularity rating is actually now going down as people are finding out they're doing surveillance on everybody in the whole nation in the uh, guise of national security. Well, we're going to do, we're doing this because it's been going on for a long time. Well, the trick is it has been going on for a long time, but they have never, there is no such thing as a warrant that gives you permission to do one billion phone calls a day and all the emails and you know and, and every company in the country and it's actually three billion days which means every single person in the United States is being monitored by the president. See Everyone. and you thought it was just for other people like other people would this would affect and other people no because see part of it is is the new health care regime as we'll call it Obamacare um, has well in the names of national security yeah um, and the link with the IRS. And it's all national security. Mm -hmm. But here's the problem about the deal is that my father was a police officer. My father knows what dragnets are. It's basically, they would say, uh, my father's back in the days when Latinos were not really welcome. And they would be a problem in the 1940s. They'd say, well, go out and get every, I won't tell you what they call them, in the, you know, in the, the area and bring them all in. They'd break them in Thompson in a jail cell and then hope that one, yeah, of, one them, of them would talk. One of them would talk. They never did because most of them never had anything to do with it. But uh, in the name of national security, which is rather convenience is, is that if they know that you support Obamacare and you tend to be charging up a lot of bills for Krispy Kremes, they know it. If you tend and to. And be... you would sit there and go, how would they know that? Well, remember, if you put things on credit cards, if you put things on debit cards, if your car goes there all the time, yeah, or you're calling there all the time. If you get gas at the station next to the Krispy Kreme, if you get gas next to the Baskin Robbins, if they go and you continually do it, they know you're going in. They do it, and the president says, it's not like we're reading the emails or listening to the calls. They don't have to. They know, okay, here's a good one. Say you're a Christian right winger, you have the largest Christian church in the nation, and you're basically anti gay. And you have calls continually going to somebody supplying little boys. Mm -hmm. They got you. Uh, or, or say that basically you're, you're pro-gun control and you're continually calling up people that are anti-gun control. Mm -hmm. or, or, or you basically are calling gun shops continually. You know, like uh, you're calling places that supplies ammunition. You're doing this, you're doing that. Uh, they know. They, because it's a simple matter, they have a watch list of like all the gun shops, of all the fast food places, all of this. They know where you're going and they know how long you're talking and what you're charging those people. That is not what they're supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be monitoring, tightly monitoring um, the situation for national security. A three billion a day is not monitored because there's no information you can get for terrorists that's going to do you any good with three billion. But it does work if you want to data mine for information that can be used in elections. Or you want to data mine for blackmail purposes. That is the only use that you can get. And the people, you, you ought to see, I mean, we know we're in the industry, how indignant people get when they find out, uh, well, you know that you go to Joe Blow's to have a you-know-what job done, and uh, you leave a credit card. And they said, well, I don't do that. And they said, your credit card shows you do. And your phone message is seeing you call him all the time. And then your emails continually. 
to the place and your cell phone shows that uh, your GPS and your cell phone shows that you go there continually and guess what you have a black belt person you have a justice you know, say you have a Supreme Court justice that is way to the right and all of a sudden he goes way to the left oh yeah when they make changes like that well and it's not just Supreme Court justices Our, it could be congressmen City councilmen. Well, it could be somebody running. It should be shareholders. It could be someone running for president of the United States who abandons a political campaign the last two weeks of the campaign when he's winning. Oh, who would do something like that? Because you know who they've been calling. And here's another thing: you manipulate the stock market by knowing who brokers and who business people are contacting continually. Mm -hmm. Now that you don't even have to tell them about because all they're doing is looking at call records. You know where that go you you know that you can go after people, which is basically right now they got witch hunts going on, but phone records and other things will let you know who these people are talking to. And then you can basically go to them and tell them, I don't, we, we know that we have a possible criminal investigation going on and we're going to have to ask you for your support. And what? there's people, there will be some people that will say, well, you just have a guilty conscience. You must be up to something. Yeah. Well, yeah, see, yeah. part of it is you don't have to be. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. there can be things that happen that you don't even know that are happening. You go to a restaurant and you happen to be somebody next to somebody that's on the watch list. You don't even talk to the person or they walk by you. Uh, or they, they nod and smile at you. Yeah. Well, or, that was a signal. Okay, you go to a movie theater. You sit next to a person that's on the government's watch list, you then become part of the watch list because mm -hmm. you attended a theater showing according to uh, your credit card receipt, you you attended the seat and oh my god it was a reserved seat and you picked the seat right next to the person on the watch list. And you don't even know who they are. This is what data mining can do. They said uh, Google and other people are doing it for a long time but they're also get continually sued over violating people's privacy rights. Well and then people don't sue the government like they go after some of those. I mean although First of all, the National NSA does not have a charter to do business within the United States. This is what people cannot get through their thick heads. Well, they're praising the work, but we trust the NSA. And they said last night, 20 years ago, they didn't know the NSA existed until somebody blew the whistle on them. A secret organization in the government getting tens of billions of dollars a year that they didn't know. But selected senators and congressmen knew. Mm -hmm. And because they were good Americans, Democrat and Republican, they didn't tell anybody. Remember those movies in Men in Black where they would always say, "Oh, do the do the the flashy thingy," yeah. and you know, make up a story. It's like it's the masses don't need to know. Just give them the flashy thing and tell them what they're supposed to know. Yeah, my, mm -hmm. my hey, like my father, he was a police officer. They would tell him that uh, that what. The, you know, before World War One or after World War, before World War Two and after World War Two, after World, before World War Two, they would simply they didn't have a press problem. After World War Two, they had a, a strong press. And my father, as the people above him, would tell him, "Well, uh, what the public doesn't know is not going to hurt him. So make certain whatever is done is never known." Um, and, and it goes back. I will use my famous line because I, I I played a German soldier and. I always loved this. I was there when they actually said this on the set, where Lee Marvin said to Charles Bronsky said, Charles Bronsky said, I did, Charles Bronsky said, I did nothing wrong. And then um, Lee Marvin said, I know that, but you got caught doing nothing wrong. See, that's what's going on at the moment. There is a, uh, okay, when you have Republicans siding with the ACLU, and when you have Democrats siding with Republicans, you know something is wrong. You have the people that are strong on, uh, on national defense basically saying, well, we have to give up the Bill of Rights to protect our lives. No, you don't. The, the, um, you basically, a search warrant is a narrow, narrowly defined thing. You cannot go, for instance, if the search warrant is for one person in a house, you cannot go look through the other person's in the house's merchandise. If a search warrant is for one business in a shopping center, you cannot go through every business in a shopping center. Uh, if you if you basically have a warrant that says the back of an automobile, you cannot search the whole automobile. You can't search everybody's in the car either. If you have a you have a thing that gives you permission to check on phone calls coming from the United States to uh, out of this country, you cannot charge go backwards from calls in the United States going in the United States. This is what they're doing. It's illegal, folks. And um, if you want to know, okay, you tell me your kids. Want, want the government knowing who they're calling up at night? 
<laughs> no. Kids don't even want their parents to know what they're doing. But now the government knows who they're calling and who their emails are going to. And, uh, you know, they... Oh, or let's put it this way. You're a parent and you don't know what your kids are up to. But the government does. That's right. And we got, okay, see, well, I don't do this, I don't do that. Well, here is a cell phone, folks. This cell phone tells everybody in the universe where you're going and how long you're there. Oh, you forgot. There's a GPS in there. But you said you didn't put the GPS tracker on. It's on continually. Continually. You say, and you're, you're like, no, but I put it off. I told him I didn't want to track it. It's on It's on this thing continually. And it's on there, and it's associated with the battery. This has a GPS tracker on it. You, we don't have it turned on, but you know it's tracking everything we're doing. Remember, the, remember when you watch the movies and you see them, they get upset about the cell phones, and what they do is they break the cell phone and leave it behind? It's still, the, okay, here's the thing is, you, you can, you, the only way you can stop it is to shred the cell phone because there's a secondary unit in the cell phones that continues to stay on, the same as your computer. Your computers all have tracking devices. Oh, and it's not just desktops, it's laptops, it's tablets, it's... It, it's your automobile. Mm -hmm. They have a monitoring, they have a system in your car that basically tells them, I mean, okay, we found out, like in this little thing right here, we found out there, besides the GPS system in it, which is supposed to be off, it never is, they also have a device in there that tracks how many pictures you're taking and sends the information back to the company. <gasps> Really, they would do something like that. Yeah. So they know, you know, like for instance, you they know that hey, you know, this picture is to see you're over your GPS system says you're you're at um you're you're at a, a it's like your show. odometer. Yeah, it's, but they tell you where you're at, and basically if they know where you're at, they got a good idea of what you're doing, and you violate the warranty on that camera in about ten seconds. Mm -hmm. You do that. This is. Things have got totally out of control in the United States, and there seems to be nobody willing to stand up and stop it at the moment. And um, but we know that we know for absolutely one thing is going to happen: the Prism Act is not going to be renewed in July. What's the Prism? That's the one that gives them the authority to do what they're doing, which doesn't give them the authority to do anything they're doing. Here, okay, here, I heard last night. Here's part of it: is they just started doing it anyway. Uh, and here's the thing: that under the Obama administration last year. One, over 1,000 wiretaps on information was asked for, and exactly the same amount that was asked for was granted immediately without having any proof of verification. You, have have, you have to have verification. It was done off of, well, we think these people might be talking to terrorists. We think. <laughs> you cannot get a subpoena. You cannot get a we wiretap based on what, things. Guess what that means. Every business leader, every city councilman, Every mayor, every government official, they all might be yeah. talking. Because, see, remember, those terrorists might come to them to ask for information. And every church is being monitored now. Every uh, airport. Every airport. Everything that you do in the United States is now being monitored by the government. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the thing is, when we do this video, if we put NSA, if we put Obama, we put you know such and such as the keywords, we're basically... Uh, going to be looked into immediately by the NSA for what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? It's, uh, uh, if this, they find it, well, why did the guys, you know, why did those people fall under the carpet? Because they didn't fall under the carpet, because they're not what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. These weren't Americans. They're looking for information on Americans, folks. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you would be doing what the Act says. It is, treated, it is designed to track well, Americans dealing with foreign nation, foreign countries, not Americans dealing with Americans. So, um, you know, if you if you like the will Bill of Rights, it is shredded under this president. Well, and the other part is if you live in a large metropolitan area, you deal with people from different countries all the time because there's a lot of people from different countries in your metropolitan area. Yeah, I mean, she's They're a traveler. Yeah, but too. she's a target because she's Asian. I'm not a target because I'm an American Indian. They don't really give a rat's ass about American Indians. I mean, they're on, you know, well, these people are, they don't, you know, they go, how? Yeah, yeah, they don't think much of us. They really do not think much of Indians. My father would have, my father would have been a target because my father was born in Germany. And, uh, but my father learned better than, my, my father basically during World War II said, we no longer speak German. My father was an actor, so my father basically shifted out of German, and I basically shifted out of... I, I spoke nothing but German when I was a small child, and I was born here. Yeah. 
but I spoke German because that's what my father spoke. My uh, so my mother spoke the dialect of American Indian and English, mm -hmm. not American English, but European English. So um, I ended up, you know, I ended up doing. Uh, it made, made dialects a lot easier for me. But I stopped speaking German seventy years more than you know. When World War Two hit, you did not speak German anymore. That was mm -hmm. not a thing. They basically we understand somebody was speaking German in this building. So my father stopped it, unless you don't speak that language anymore. And we never spoke it again after that period. My mother, well, you know, that you realize that American, that American Indian sounds a lot like Japanese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that came to a halt with my mother and my grandmothers. So that's what happens. And, and uh, well, they'll say this cannot be used against you. Try the IRS. Here's another thing. Are you willing to trust an agency to keep your records private that basically it just had the whistle blown on it by somebody in the agency. Which means they're already, they're telling you about what the information is and how it's being used. But, you know... Those brave souls that have blown the whistle. Yeah, they're all, and, but the, the EMFs, they're basically what they did last mm -hmm. night was to uh, issue a warrant, a John Doe warrant, which means anybody that they don't like now is going to be arrested under the word in terms of national security. Oh, it is? Yeah. Basically, any reporter that they think oh, has got no. information is going to be arrested now under the John Doe warrant. So if we disappear after this posting, you know what happens. Yeah. That just lets you know. <laughs> Anytime you do anything now that stands up, okay, what happens is, is that more or less everybody no longer trusts the president. He's got the, basically... <laughs> oh, well, uh, okay, first of all, did anybody trust a politician? But they they're supposedly... They, they always hope. Okay, the Democrats basically trust Obama under mass. They no longer trust him. Here's he did, uh, with 60, uh, morning, uh, one of the things that 66% do not trust him, period, now. That's, uh, and, um, you know, and basically he sold us out to the Chinese yesterday, so... Well, what do you do? Well, no, we're going to have open discussions about hacking. And now the President of the United States, well, well we're, going to, we're going to start a hacking war with the Chinese. Well, God, he's already doing it, folks. It's through the NSA. They're monitoring everything the Chinese government is saying. You don't think the Chinese aren't pissed off? Oh. And the other members of the United Nations? Uh, they're tracking all our phone calls, our emails, and everything they, now. You know what? Every time I hear some of these things, you know what it reminds me of? Um, in Pirates of the Caribbean, when Johnny Depp was sitting there talking, and he says... Yeah, he says, I know the pirates. The pirates, you can never trust. Yeah. He says, but the problem is the honest person, because every once in a while they'll do something really stupid. Yeah. But the pirates, you know, you can never trust. The pirates, you know, you can never trust. No, you can't. You know, okay, you watch the people. The people that are supporting the what the NSA is doing are all going to get their butts thrown out of office, Democrats and Republicans. This is going to be the first time ever... There could be a lot of changeover this ...that you're going election. to see a changeover in Congress because, uh, I mean, you've got people like Lindsey Graham that's on the way out. Well, Lindsey's been in Congress for... Too long. A long time. Because I'd have to go back and look at the records, but I think it's been at least a good 25 years. Yeah, this guy is... I mean, he's it was basically... Like he's been a senior member, okay, too. Okay, until yesterday, he was going the route... Well, if you have something to hide, if you have nothing to hide, that everybody has something to hide. They call people. They don't want people to know they're calling in business. Um, they call, okay, uh, you got husbands calling other women. Our husbands <gasps> calling other oh men. My God. They don't want those things out. Everyone has something. They say there's no business of the government to knowing about. You have guilty pleasures. You want the government to, to know you like it. Krispy Kreme. Or that you go into McDonald's a lot. Oh and you pay for it on your credit card. Or Five Guys. Yeah, Five Guys. Places. Or Burger King. Burger King. and your, Or Hometown Buffet. Or right. Soup Plantation. And um, it's one of the reasons why... Or you know, anything. Like it's got to be a reason why the security people told Obama they didn't want him using his Blackberry because his Blackberry would tell everybody what he was doing. Well, and... Yeah. Yeah, and well, and, do. you know, the challenge about all of those is he uses his BlackBerry to call a congressman. Well, a congressman, they already know, is being watched anyway, okay? Yeah. Well, and they then, didn't know they were being watched until this week. Oh, what? What? I would assume a congressman would assume that he's being watched. Uh, not their private stuff. This oh. is their home phones are being hit now. Their kids' oh. phones, their, fam their mothers and fathers, their relatives are all being monitored See, because now. The, the president calls... 
I don't know, the president calls his supporter. And this supporter calls somebody else. And so it's all along the line. They're all tracking everybody. I know. And the president's all he got to do. The president can gauge his support now without ever having to do anything else. But his people, <gasps> and their people getting the information and saying, okay, these are, this congressman has called all of these people. Wait, and, and then he stopped here. And wait a minute. But he thought that they were a supporter of the president. And did you see who they called? Yeah. That's right. You don't need any, oh my God, they, they've got a call here. Okay, you and they call the NRA. Yeah, you have a person. Ten times anti, for Planned Parenthood or yeah. whatever have oh, you. But you call, the he's, just a, he's an anti-NRA person. He's talking to the head of the NRA for five and a half hours. Mm -hmm. You said, you know you're not convincing them to change. They're talking to you. They're talking about what should we be doing. Mm -hmm. I'm the same thing. You you you. You're, you're, uh, and they don't even have to listen to the conversation. You're a Planned Parenthood supporter, and you're calling the Archbishop of two, Timbuktu and talking about things, and you're not a Catholic. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got a good idea what's going on in that conversation. You don't have to. It's uh, everything. Um, okay, we're going to do a thing, a movie, a core. Yeah, you know, we're watching the thing, and then one of the actors was talking about, you know, that we need this, we need that. And he said, um, he said, but what if you're wrong? And the guy said, um, in our world, everything is best guess. And he said, in other words, you really don't know what. He said, no one knows. And it's, it's one of those things where, what, they make the presumption, they talk to the people, and then they watch, they gauge the reaction. Yeah. But right now, too, this is our, the Constitution has been suspended also in the, in the fact that the Constitution says you, you basic our laws say you're innocent until proven guilty. Now, the every American in the United States is guilty. Well, you walk into court assuming you're guilty. Here's the challenge: is that remember they always said you give an inch. Yeah. Yes, it's like you know what is it? Get prepared for the mile, or it's, you know what I mean? You give a little bit, and then you give you, more. You give more. It's like where they say marijuana is a gateway drug. Same thing to this is. You give in to this, there go the rest of, what, the Bill of Rights, your liberties. And... Well, the Bill of Rights has already been shredded, and they're going to unshred it very quickly. I mean, the, you know, last night's announcement that they're going after everyone with a vengeance to blew the whistle on NSA. Oh, they are. Yeah. And that means a lot of press people are going to end up doing, they're going to, first of all, what they're going to do is lean on them. Because, well, you know, like the guy, you know, uh, you do realize that your grandson is basically uh, seeing... You know, basically running a gay hooking service out of here, out of your house. Well, that can't be. And they said, then he goes to grandson, and then all of a sudden they got the guy. Mm -hmm. You can basically they have information on every single newsman in the United States, and the people that basically are showing this thing over on CNN, where somebody's going to go, um, they know every reporter that you have working for you. They know who you're all calling. They know where your emails are going. They know what you're spending. And they, if you're thinking, but I use a different email, they have your ISP. They, yeah, they know. They know what goes out of the ISP. They know what your credit cards are. They know from your cell phone where you're going. They know from the cameras you're using what you're, where you're shooting. They know from your automobile where you're going. They know everything about you now. Whereas they say, well, the, the, the you know, other Google does it. Well, Google's in trouble overdoing it. Facebook is in trouble overdoing it. The credit card companies are in trouble overdoing it. They're all well, in trouble. Here's part of it is, as much as you don't like Google doing it, Google does not send you a tax bill. Yeah. Google <laughs> does not do your health care. That's right. right? They, they don't tell you what you can and cannot eat. Okay. They don't tell you where you can, what, uh, you know, who you can associate with. Yeah. They I mean, use the information to sell you products. They don't use the information to blackmail you. That's right. So you, you, and they, said, uh, they said that once you start down, here's a history thing, once you start down a slippery slope, you can never climb back up. Well, yes, you can. What you do is, first of all, you don't redo, you don't redo the thing in July. That comes Redo what the, thing in July? You know, the prison. Oh, they right. know that that basically is a far gone conclusion. That is a dead bill. Because you want to get the, the a ACLU is climbing up the back of every Democrat that supported that thing for an overreach. They also know that everybody that supported over this overreach is basically their career is over. Because, I mean, you cannot, they're no, they're no longer today saying, well, honest people have nothing to be afraid of. Well, last night I heard a congressman tell that to a, 
of another person, else. and he basically said, "Yeah, I said you don't have a you don't have a right to know what my children are doing. That is my business. I don't need the United States government looking into what my kids are doing." He said, "I know from what I do, you people mess around in my life, but my family." is separate from my life and you do not mess into it. There's virtually no congressman today on any show telling you that if you, you know, people that don't do anything wrong have nothing to worry about because right now every single person in the United States is now thought of as guilty and you can't prove yourself innocent because you don't know the information they have and they're not, they are not, they're, they are not liable to present that information because it's under the National Security Act. They don't have to tell you what you did wrong now. Mm. They no longer have to do it. They can just arrest you and put you in a jail cell. Go back and look at the you Rock. You don't have to do your Miranda rights? No. Look at the Rock with Sean Connery. He knew something about something and during the Kennedy killing, so he spent 40 years in a jail cell in the movie because he, without a trial or nothing, because he knew something. Oh. You no longer have to be Mirandized because all That's they have horrible. to do is come in and arrest you now. That's and they say, well, they won't do it. Oh, they are doing it. Yeah. I, I, IRS is destroying people. They said as of last night, the IRS is still targeting people. Still doing it. And they say it stopped over a year ago. They're still doing it. <laughs> and, that's, you know, and, uh, and basically, the whistleblowers in the NSA are telling people what's going on. And they are using this information was helped to get the president elected. And therefore, it does go clean to the White House. Because his election team is headquartered in the White House. It does go all the way to the White House. And, and they said, well, here's the thing is, um, the one thing that virtually everybody on both sides can agree with, the president probably knew nothing about it. And then they said, because the president doesn't know much about anything. Yeah. They said that he is that... But isn't, that's what they tell you when they say ignorance is not... Well, no, they, ignorance is not a defense. Uh, here's one of the guys said, pure and simple, the president of the United States is nothing more than Ron Burgundy. He looks good on camera. I mean, oh God, yeah, I watched him yesterday. I don't have my notes. Um, I don't have my notes. I don't have Who my notes. Who's Ron Burgundy? Uh, it, anchor, it, anchor. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, movie. The movie. But he kept. I don't have my. I don't have my talking points. I don't. That's Will Ferrell played. Yeah, but this is what he kept saying until somebody brought it out, and then somebody said, "Well, that guy's going to get mo," and they. Uh,